Hello everyone! In this first chemistry session of grade 12, LH and SE, you will be introduced to Unit 3, Chapter 10 in your chemistry book, which will talk about current medicinal drugs. By the end of the session, you will be able to Number 1. Define a medicinal drug and specify its sources and characteristics. Number 2. Recognize the different formulations of drugs, such as tablets and capsules, where you'll be able to recognize the role of drug additives. Number 3. Classify drugs according to their pharmaceutical actions. Number 4. Differentiate between different drugs based on their generic name and the trade name. Number five, define analgesics. In this category, you'll be able to classify analgesics into antipyretic, anti-rheumatic, and narcotic, and give examples of each. In addition, you'll give the brand names and the generic names of a number of analgesics, such as aspirin and paracetamol. So you're wondering about medicinal drugs. Medicinal drugs are substances which are used for treating disease or relieving pain. What are the sources of medicinal drugs? Medicinal drugs are derived from several sources. Which are laboratory synthesis, such as aspirin, tranquilizers, and antihistamine. In addition to fermentation, or microbiological culture, such as microorganisms. Furthermore, they could be either extracted from animals, such as insulin, or extracted from plants, such as morphine. A drug is considered effective if it has the following characteristics to be non-toxic have no or little side effects not interact with substances in the body and administer it in reasonable doses and be stable application match each item of column A to the corresponding item of column B. Column A contains A. Synthesized drug B. Obtained by fermentation or by microbiological culture C. Extracted from animals Column B contains 1. Penicillin Number 2. Insulin Number 3. Aspirin The answer is A goes for aspirin, B goes for penicillin, and C goes for insulin. Drugs can be administered in several ways. Number one, through oral route. Number two, through inhalation route. Number three, through topical route. Number four, through rectal route and number 5 through parenteral root. Tablets, capsules, liquids, sprays, ointments, and suppositories could be a clear example on drug formulations and additives formulations. Every drug contains an active ingredient which is responsible for the therapeutic action. The active ingredient is the same for different brands. 
an inert ingredient which is called the excipient or drug additives are added to give a certain formulation. Application 1 Number 1. The following types of drugs are available in the market. Aspirin 325 mg, coated aspirin, buffered and effervescent aspirin. Verify whether these drugs have the same pharmaceutical effects and the same inert ingredients. The answer is, they have the same therapeutic effect and the same active ingredient, which is aspirin. In addition, they have different inert ingredients and different formulations. Question number two. A drug can be presented in several forms. Indicate four of these forms. The answer is tablet, capsule, ointment, spray, gel, suppository, and injectable. Drugs can be classified according to their pharmaceutical activity. They could come in the form of analgesics, anesthetics, anti-inflammatories, anti-acids, antibiotics, tranquilizers, and antidepressants. The table below shows brand and generic names of commonly used drugs. In this table, we'll see two kinds of drugs, which are aspirin and paracetamol. Aspirin and paracetamol are called generic names or the active ingredients. As any type of drug, aspirin has a brand name, which is aspirin, and paracetamol also has a brand name, which is panadol. So can you tell the pharmaceutical action of these drugs? In the previous slide, you've been wondering about the pharmaceutical action of aspirin and paracetamol. Now, you'll see the answer. So the pharmaceutical action of aspirin is analgesic, which is a painkiller, and the pharmaceutical action of paracetamol is also analgesic, which is a painkiller. What are analgesics? Analgesics are drugs used to reduce or eliminate pain. They are divided into three groups, which are narcotics, which are used to reduce and eliminate moderate and severe pain, such as codeine. In addition, there are antipyretics, which are used to lower fever, such as paracetamol, and anti-rheumatics, which are used to reduce or eliminate inflammations of the joints, such as aspirin. Some of these drugs are called over-the-counter drugs because they can be sold without the doctor's prescription, like aspirin and Panadol. On the other hand, there are many drugs that require a medical prescription, like the narcotics morphine and codeine. What should we choose, aspirin or Panadol? Aspirin is an analgesic antipyretic, anti-inflammatory, and anti-blood coagulant. Its side effect is that it upsets the stomach because it is acidic and causes bleeding. It inhibits the formation of the blood's platelets. Therefore, it is replaced by Panadol. Panadol, which its generic name is paracetamol, is an analgesic and antipyretic. 
and since it is not acidic, it is preferable to aspirin. It's time for application. Studies qualify chocolate with natural aspirin because of its similar effects on blood platelets. Cacao itself would also allow reducing clot formation. So the question is, explain why cacao is considered as a natural aspirin. The answer is, both cacao and aspirin are anticoagulants and thus they reduce the blood clots. Another application. Analgesics are classified into three groups, narcotic, antipyretics, and anti-rheumatics. So the question is, associate to each group one of the following domains of therapeutic use, reduce fever, reduce joint inflammation, and eliminate severe pain. So the group responsible to reduce fever is antipyretics. The one responsible to eliminate intense pain is narcotics. And the group responsible for reducing inflammation of joints is anti-rheumatics. And that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed the session. And now, please, go and revise your notes and try to define a drug and specify its sources and characteristics. Also try to recognize the different formulations of drugs and classify analgesics into their three groups, which are antipyretics, antirheumatics, and narcotics, and give examples of each. For further information, please visit the following references. Number one, your chemistry secondary education, third year, literature and humanities section, educational center of research and development, your national textbook. And number two, the CRDP official website, www.crdp.org. Thank you for your attention. Good luck, everyone.